don't know why my camera keeps turning off on me. But, uh, I'm going to be smashing this down like that. I better watch my time on there. Maybe it's got a timer on it, which I don't really understand. I mean, it's seeing me. I mean, it shouldn't be turning off. I don't know what's going on with it. this down pretty good. And that helps tenderize it. I'm going to flip it over and do the same on that side a few times. And then do like this. Okay. Hopefully I can get this done before. I'm going to put some spices on it. This is a Hawaiian uh, black salt. So I'm going to do that and it's a grinder style. A little bit there. Put on some pepper, which is that ground pepper, and it's another type where you do like that. And then I'm going to put a little smoked paprika on this, which is a uh, real good stuff. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay this on like that and put a little bit on that side and put that over there and do that. At the same time, I'm going to put a little bit more salt on them. I'm going to let those sit for a bit. Okay. Now, we're over here. We're getting this butter. She's melting away. And uh, we're going to be putting the asparagus in there first uh, so that it can uh, cook ahead of it before because uh, the asparagus uh, cooks a lot faster. So I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm not going to cook it all. I'm going to put about half of it in there. And uh, that way I can have some for tomorrow. And uh, while that's doing that, I'm going to spread her around a little bit. Okay, let that simmer. Actually, it's called sauteing. And uh, while that's going on there, I think I'm going to do some of my vitamins here. Get some of my, uh, I'll get some water here. And, uh, put me an airborne in there. I thought I already had the tablet sitting out. I'm going to get some vitamin B. And uh, I'm going to get some uh, prenatal and uh, some uh, fish oil. So I'm going to get those out. I'm going to get two fish oils, uh, two vitamin uh, prenatals. Okay. And while this is fizzing here, I'm going to use that to drink it down. I'm going to get some of this vitamin B and uh, do it. And that just goes like that. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So anyway, that's uh, kind of funny. That's rough. Put these scissors up here. Put the knife up. Let's see if she's still fizzing. Yeah, she's still fizzing. So, fortunately, my camera hadn't shut off this time, so it's going to be about three videos put up. So, it's almost done. So, in fact, she's done enough. So I'm going to take all these pills all at once. Mm-hmm. That's some good stuff. So with the leftover asparagus, I'm going to go ahead and put that in a Ziploc get that ready here. So, hold on. Got my Ziploc here. And put this asparagus in there like that. You see, and then you can, it's already been pre-washed. You can kind of fold it up, get all the air out of it, and then finish it up and put it in the refrigerator.
Okay. Now this asparagus has been cooking for a little bit over here. I'm going to uh, put uh, a little bit of salt and pepper on that, which I'm going to use this grinder and do that. And then I'm going to get the, uh, the pepper. That was salt. And then I'm going to put a little lemon pepper on that. Lemon pepper. That's good for vegetables. So I'm going to scoot that in there like that. Just a little bit, don't matter. What I marinated the steak in is, is when you do your ribeyes, use this right here, liquid smoke, and marinate it for around, I would say, 20 minutes or so. And then, uh, if you're going to beat this, if you're going to tenderize the steak, which uh, actually ribeyes are already tender, but if you pre hammer it with that little hammer uh, device, and then uh, this thing here, and uh, then you can put your liquid smoke on it and it will soak in. At the same time, your spices, you put those on there and uh, let it set for around 15 or 20 minutes prior to you putting it in the broiler, in which you already know how to do that. So, uh, in the meantime, this over here, I'm going to stir these around a little bit. And, uh, so, the skillet's getting kind of hot, so. Maybe turn it up a slight bit more and I'm gonna get the cranberry stuff over here now this is whole cranberry you can get the regular but I like to, to eat actually eat the, uh, the cranberries that's in there so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna set that in a little bowl and uh, let me get the bowl out up here. And you may have to, may have to get a knife and score the edge right like this before it comes out. And then it'll pop right out of there, hopefully. See, there you go. And then uh, that works out real well. And then you just uh, kind of well, you can't see it, so I'm going to turn it down. So you kind of slice her down a little bit. You can see them whole cranberries is in there. So I'm going to set that over here and set that aside. Right now the steak's sitting over there. It's uh, kind of getting marinated because it's sitting there. And uh, I'll set that over there. And that's where that steak is for sure. So it's getting kind of close for me to put that steak in because these have been these have been cooking for a little bit. And uh, I'll let you see what that looks like here. Kind of like kind of hard to hold this tablet upside down. Let's see, we got that going right here. All right, I'm gonna put these pieces of steak in here one at a time. I got this one here. I'm going to set it like that. And I'll move this up a little bit so I don't have the room. And see what I got there? I got that going all at one time. And it's going to be about maybe four minutes per side on the steak. And by the time the steak is done, those asparagus will be ready. So uh, in the interim time, to save time, I'm going to go ahead and pre-clean my dishes here. That way I don't have to worry about it. So you know, I've got to rinse off this nice efficient cutting board, of which you know you can get that at Walmart and it's around, around $6. So that's been down there and uh, drying off here. Uh, I had a real good helper at one time that helped me with dishes. Uh, she was uh, used to dry for me, and she was a very good dryer person. So, she used to dry it, dry all my stuff. And uh, her mom too. She would help out doing that. It's real convenient to have kitchen help. So I'm gonna get rid of my trash here. And I put my stuff away. Well, 
I'm gonna start putting these spices up. But I might put a little bit more salt and pepper over here on this steak, since this side here, some of the sides didn't get it. So, uh, so I'm gonna try to see if I can make my tablet not fall over. Here we're getting that ground up on there. Get the salt on there. You might put a little garlic powder on the steak. You know, not a lot of salt. And just some garlic, garlic powder. And that's good on the steak. Not a lot, you know, just shake it in there like that. And, uh, so we've got about maybe three or four minutes on that side to go. Uh, you can kind of tell. It doesn't hurt to, you know, you can flip it over. Once it's seared on one edge, I mean, kind of brown, you can flip it over and get the other side, and that will help seal in the juices. And you want to kind of move your asparagus around a little bit. Kind of very difficult to do. Move the asparagus around a little bit, and then uh, move your meat a little bit and uh, stuff like that. So, in the interim, I'm gonna uh, say that, well, we can talk about a little bit some more stuff. The slivered almonds over here that I got earlier, uh, that's good if you're gonna have, uh, like, I don't know, uh, you can use it in salads, which is real good. Uh, especially if they're toasted. In fact, they taste good just eating them uh, by themselves. You know, but they're raw as they are, so you might want to might want to pre-toast them. Then after they're toasted, you can mix a little butter and uh, you know some spices to uh, make it taste pretty good. That's the cranberry uh, stuff right there. And when I make the presentation of the plate. You'll see how that does. So I'm going to get my plate ready, which is uh, my, one of my favorite glass plates here. And I'm going to get my uh, fork and my knife, and that'll be, well, I already got a fork over there that I'm using to stir the meat, so I won't need a dirty one. So we got that and that. So uh, as you can see, it's coming along pretty well. And uh, the butter in there makes the meat taste real good. And uh, go ahead and flip that around so you can see what's going on. Maybe do that meat over again a little bit. It's pretty thick, so normally pounding it makes it thinner and makes it easier to cook. The asparagus is already getting tender because the pork is able to penetrate it. And uh, stuff like that. So, uh, I'm going to let that cook a little bit. I'm going to go off into my room and watch uh, TV. And uh, right now, I don't know what's on. I think uh, Wheel of Fortune is. Uh, let me find out. And that's the dog. Let me turn on some lights. That's Miss Sadie right there. And uh, she has her favorite bone. Here, eat that bone up. It's actually a goat, uh, a horn off of a, a ram or something. And uh, it's a... Uh, something very very hard it's a horn off of like a like a, a big goat or a ram and uh, so you know that does pretty pretty interesting there so you know I'm not even sure what I'm watching I think that while I was in there see what that is blind spot what the heck is that I can't tell you let me see CW, that's the arrow. I've been watching The Flash, as you know, uh, on Tuesdays, and then Thursdays I watch DC Legends of Tomorrow, which is pretty cool. And The Flash is, I mean, uh, Arrow, which is what this is, is pretty good. And then on Mondays, it's Supergirl. These are all DC Marvel uh, comic shows. And they're all pretty cool, and they all interact with each other. So... They're all right, and so I wish I could show you this tablet. You know, I'm gonna see if I can let you see it here. 
That's what it looks like. Uh, it's in a case, of course. And uh, I wonder if I can do that mirror effect thing. Ooh. No, I don't think I can. There it is. Kind of like infinity mirror there. Here, let me tilt it down. Oh yeah, that kind of looks cool, don't it? Yeah, that looks kind of cool. I don't know why it's pulsing like that. I think it's uh, seeing the uh, vibration frequency of the video. So anyway, let's kind of go in there and check out this uh, steak cut coming along. Uh, it's doing pretty fair. I'd say it's getting close to about medium right now. And uh, keep flipping it around a little bit. Make sure I'm still running. So. And see all that meat juices is getting into the asparagus as well. And, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this tablet over here and I'm going to test it. I'm going to cut into it and see what it looks like. See how well done it is. Yeah, right now it's kind of rare, so it's not done. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up into pieces, and that way it'll cook a little bit faster, because it's so fat. So it's so thick. So, this actually is a pretty tender piece of meat, so, because it's a uh, chuck eye steak. And uh, actually it's called a... Uh, Country style ribs made out of chuck steak. And they're, you can get those at Walmart. Normally I get a chuck out of steak, but this was a little bit more in there and a slight bit cheaper. So, you know, when you're on a budget, it uh, sometimes helps to do that. Yeah, this makes it cook a lot faster since you got to cut it up anyway. You know, if you're doing it in your in, under your boiler, this would cook a whole lot faster. And since you're both experts at cooking steaks on your boiler now, uh, you can probably even show, show me how to do a few things. All right. Now, once again, that's what it looks like now after it's all been cut up, which is you know pretty good. You can see it's slightly pink. I'm just going to move it all around. I do like mine medium rare, I mean uh, medium medium well, actually medium, because that makes it, I like it a lot better like that. So that's got about maybe, I'd say, oh maybe five more minutes and then it'll be ready. So I'm going to set my timer up here, it's set for six, so we're going to go with that. Oh, that's, okay, that's it. So when that goes off, everything will be ready. So whilst that's doing that, I'm gonna go back in here and mess with the dog. Let her and me talk for a bit. Okay. So come here, puppy. Tell me, what's your what's your name? Are you a good dog? Hmm? You like that? You like that head rubbing there? I know you do. Hey, say hello, Molly. Hello, Bella. Hello. Bugsy, hello Garfield, hello Samantha, hello Lana. So that's her right there, and she's a good dog. Uh huh. And she likes that ear rubbing stuff. She's looking at my nose there. So she's a good doggy. She's a good doggy. Yes, ma'am. That's a good dog. A good doggy. I think she knows that she's on the camera. And she doesn't like it. So let's move around a little bit. Here's this, here's this bone. Here. Ooh, what's that? Get that bone. Eat that bone. Up. What's it? Get that. Eat that up. Eat it up. Eat it up. Hey, come here. Come here. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Up here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
She wants to go off and hide it somewhere because she likes to hide stuff. Is that another bone? She's so shy. She's she's camera shy. So anyway, that's the my puppy. That's the TV, and she watches TV too. So. I think she sees herself on this, on the, on the screen. She likes those ears rubbed. Pretty shiny bulb there. Here, eat the bone. Eat that bone up. Here. Eat that bone. Yeah, doggy. Any other time she'd be tearing that thing up, but now that she knows I want her to do it, she ain't gonna do it. So, uh, Anyway, as you can see, it's 7.07 .07 and it's 65 degrees in my room. I have my electric blanket controls on right there. And, uh, there's my lamp. <laughs> and, uh, there's a picture. See, if you read that right there, it says, The effective prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That means that if you're praying and you're righteous, your prayers count a lot when you ask God. And right up there it says in Mark 11:24, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Now that's some powerful stuff. Let's go see what we got going on here on my timer. We have about 2 minutes and 30 seconds left. And that stuff will be ready, and we'll go over here and look at this. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and flip it around a little bit more and uh, get it, then roll it around. Technically, it's ready now because it looks like it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat off. The thing about cast iron skillets is they hold heat real good. I mean, they, they're, that's what they used to cook with in the pioneer days, and it still works well. So, I'm going to get this and I'm going to. Uh, Scoop out the, the asparagus and I use a spatula. Okay? And we'll put that on there like that. And uh, put that there. And then I'm going to get some of this, these meats and I'm going to stick them on there. One way to do it is uh, like I'm fixing to do. And, uh, well, I think I'll just do it this way. Normally you can you can even pour it right out, but you know there I, my fingers are tough. I can just well not really. <laughs> I can pick this stuff up with my fingers at times, but sometimes it's pretty hot. You know, really what I need is my my tongs, which I don't know where they're at. See, with this, you can get it a lot, a lot faster because it sticks in the pork. Okay. Getting this like this. Whoops. There's something for the dog. That one fell on the floor, so she can have that. Of course, she gets some anyway because she's special. And, uh, let me get that. And this last one here. That tastes pretty good. So I'm going to set this over here and I'll turn my tablet a little bit. And so far you can see what that looks like. I'm going to spread that around like that. And uh, now I'm going to get, well there's the alarm. And I'll stop that. And with this cranberry stuff, I'm going to put that a little bit right here in the middle. Go across. Okay. And uh, that's a very good complement to uh, your dinner. And you can spread it around a little bit and kind of do that and do that. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll get a little ketchup and put that on there as well. See if I can find it. That is. 
the way I did it the other day was I got some of this barbecue sauce here and while it was in the skillet I put it on top and kind of sauteed it with it so I'm gonna kind of drizzle this barbecue sauce on there if it'll come out well if it'll come out it's a little bit thick so add a little water to it I'll tell you what here's my okay. I just I'll tell you what that's I'm gonna just use ketchup okay and we're gonna put a little bit of that ketchup over here on the side and the final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a piece of cheese here like I bought earlier uh, from Walmart it's a uh, pepper jack so I'm going to uh, cut off a little piece of that I'm going to move that over here. Let's see, let's scoot that out a little bit. And I'll cut off a couple of thin little slices of it. And set that over there. Let me see how I can do that. Cut that. Put that there. Put that there, like that. Of course, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm slicing up this cheese. And I'm going to set that there. And so, there we go. So we have a dinner that we've made. And this only took about 30 minutes. And uh, that's what she looks like. Cranberry, with that, and that, and that, and the cheese over there. And so the next thing we do is we, we give thanks for our food. So, Father, I want to thank you for this food that you graciously provided for me. I lift it up to you in thanksgiving and ask that you bless it. And once again, Father, I want to thank you for the opportunity to have this food that you have provided when there are so many that don't have it. Once again, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. So, here we go. We're going to give it a taste test. We've got this piece right here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's real good, as a matter of fact. And we got this asparagus, as you can see. Mm-hmm. So, that's it. And, uh, so I hope you, uh, have enjoyed this thing, and I'll talk to you later.